Yo, what's up, guys? Felix from Drown Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I brought my buddy Kevin on the channel. He has an entire channel himself, which I'll leave down in the description. But he's somebody really awesome that you guys are going to want to check out. He actually works a job right now that makes him over $10,000 per month. And I wanted to bring him on the channel so he could share his story. He could share some things in case you guys want to do what he does. Be share some inspiration and just let him tell you guys what he does in case you guys are looking for something different that can allow you to make some pretty good money. So Kev, tell everybody who you are, what job do you have, how long you've been doing it, give everybody a little bit of an intro. Hey guys, well, first of all, my name is Kevin. You can find me on YouTube as Truth Trucking. I'm actually a trucker, company driver. I've been doing this for, I wanna say almost two years now. Uh, what can I really tell you about myself? Uh, this is not something that's in the family business. It's in my blood. No, it's just something that I happened to give it a shot. And thankfully, it changed my life for the better. Cool. So you said you've been doing it for about two years. How did you get started? Like, what was the, how did you, I know you're crushing it now and you're making, you know, some pretty good money, but how did you really get into the industry, into the niche of the trucking business? Well, to be honest with you, man, and to make a long story short, uh, the pandemic hit and, you know, everyone was kind of looking for a pandemic proof job. And to be honest, it's not like I was making good money either way. Uh, you know, to be to be quite frank with you, man, I was a loser. I was only making maybe if that five hundred dollars a week. I was unmotivated. I, I didn't know what to do. And it wasn't until uh, a good friend of mine, she recommended, hey, why don't you get into trucking? Why don't you get into trucking? And I started looking up the information, man, and I actually found out how relatively it is easy to get into trucking. And, you know, I, I did my due diligence, didn't pay a cent for my license. And, you know, the rest is history, man. Do you want to go into how you actually was able to do that? Because I know some people when whether they're going to go like a company route or they're going to be an owner operator, some of the startup expenses for the trucking business can be quite steep. Do you want to share if you're able to share how you're able to kind of, you know, get your schooling and your basically your startup fee kind of financed or waived? Absolutely. So I'll be very honest. Um, the route that I did, it's it's I want to say at the beginning, it's going to be very hard. Why? You're going to find one of these mega carriers, these big companies. I'm talking multi-million dollar companies that are willing to take the, I guess, the risk, the investment in you to pay for your license. I was very fortunate. They paid for my housing because the school is four hours away. They paid for housing. They also paid uh, for the license. Not only that, after I passed and got my CDL class A, they paid for my flight. They paid for my housing in Dallas because that's where they were based out of. Now there's more than one company that does this. Um, I'll be honest, I'll tell you guys the name. It was a Stevens Transport. They're the ones that actually helped me get my career launched and got my CDL. They took the, the risk and they, they, they changed my life for the better, but there was more to gain from the industry. I got you. So there's a lot of basically things that you have to do. What are some of like the startup things that are required to, you know, I know you need a CDL. I know you need certain things. Maybe you got to pass a drug test. If someone wants to get into this, whether, like I said, working for a company to kind of, especially, I, I feel like, and you could correct me if I'm wrong or what you think with your experience, but for someone that, you know, maybe has their back against the wall, it'd probably be a better option and probably their only option to go work for a mega carrier opposed to trying to finance your, your own truck or your own business. Would you agree with that? I, I mean, completely. This is, you know, the option again, I was against the wall. I had no money. Um, when I did end up going to the school, you know, obviously they, they provided housing, but they didn't provide actual food. And I made $40 go a long way for a month. Um, this is for somebody who has no options that they can't afford to get the license on their own because just the license alone can cost you about $6,000 now. And then if you don't have good enough credit, you're not getting a truck. And mm -hmm. if, you, if you can't even buy the license, you have no business buying your first truck. I got you. I got you. Now, um, can you give some game? Because, like, say someone is, you know, give, give tell people what they need. If you, okay. know, I know you said that they need the schooling and they gotta, you know, get the license. But like, someone that wa is watching this video and they're like, okay, I got to have a thousand dollars to my name. And you know, not everybody wants to work for a, a company or you know, 
kind of play that employee role, but sometimes, you know, push come to shove, you got to like, what should somebody do if they, if you were in their shoes and you don't have to give them everything. Cause I know, you know, it's, it's, we only have so much time on this, on this zoom call, but what is some, some of the critical steps that people need to do to, you know, get associated in the industry, get associated with a good company. So I actually have a video that goes full into depth in my channel in English and Spanish. Um, to sum it up, you're going to need, first of all, you need to be able to pee clean. You got to get your CDL permit first. You got to get a pass of physical and a physical consists of uh, blood pressure, hearing, a vision, urinalysis, and an actual physical. If you can't even pass that, because, you know, mainly what the industry they're looking for, they need to make sure you're not diabetic and that you don't have sleep apnea problems. Now, the sleep apnea, you can kind of get away with. The diabetes, most companies, they, they won't hire. And it's very discriminatory, but it's just facts. I go into full lengths on how to get your CDL, how to find these companies, the whole nine yards on my channel. But that's the main things you need to have in mind. Also, so also I forgot to mention, if you're watching this, if you're not a U.S. resident or a U.S. citizen or you don't have a work visa, first, you got to handle that issues before you can even think of becoming a CDL Class A holder. Cool, cool, cool. A lot of great info in this video. So if you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to drop a like on it. Now, I've heard a lot of people who, you know, work for companies and they get complete garbage pay and they don't make anything. How were you able to kind of circumvent that process? Or maybe you experienced uh, not so good companies in the beginning, but how are you actually able to make some pretty good money when most drivers, you know, struggle? Like, how, how are you able to do so much better? Like, were, was, it, was it certain things that you looked out for? Is there certain things that you know that other people don't know that allows you to make good money when most people don't make anything? So I'm going to drop a couple gems here just because, you know, it's you and I, and I, want, and I like helping people. Truth is, when you go get your license, I'm going to tell you right now, make sure you know how to drive a manual truck. You don't even need to be able to drive a manual car. They're, listen, you're going to learn in the school beat up their cars, beat up their trucks, break their transmissions, doesn't matter. Make sure you don't have any restrictions on your license to an only automatic. Why? Because you want to start with these big companies. They're going to pay for the school, serve the time, get some experience. Once you get at least, you know, anywhere from two to six months experience, smaller companies, they're willing to hire you and they always pay more. But again, here's why I said it's a gem. If you don't know how to drive a manual, they're not going to hire you. Why? These smaller companies, they can't afford the automatics. They can't afford even, even the repairs on them. So when they stick to the manuals, it's cheaper repairs, older vehicles that you can find so much parts on. It's easier, more convenient. And these smaller companies, they tend to find a lot more freight than these giant ones because they have already certain contracts and they can't compete with certain things versus small companies. They're not so obligated in the industry. I got you. So start with the big and then kind of work your way down to the small for more opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, you're going to have drivers that are going to tell you, oh, you can make money with these big carriers. The question I always ask, and this is where they always trip. Um, how long have you been with the mega carrier? 10 years, five years, 16 years. But again, I've only been hardly two years in the industry and I'm making well over six figures. I make anywhere from 10 to 14,000 a month working company. So, so, so you, from your experience of talking to different truckers, though, there's guys with those big carriers making, you know, some good money, but they had to put in, you know, a decade of time just to be able to get to something that what you've been able to get to within, you know, how, how long did it take from like the day that you went to the school till, you know, count the, count the calendar days back to you were making, you know, $2,500, $3,000 a week. Like how much time, I know nothing's overnight, but for people want to know like, okay, you know, Absolutely. You know, so, how much time can I expect? So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to give you the date that my CDL was issued. My, it was issued April of last year. Mm. Six. From mm. that date, I'm, I won't count from when I started the school. I won't count it from that night because every school is different. But from April 6, I want to say maybe by... Wow. By August, mm -hmm. I I was already making after I because I, I did join the mega carrier, but I left, got my license, did what I had to do, paid them back the money, joined a smaller company, 
And yeah, by August, I was in a small company. September, I was making six figures. That's incredible. 2021, not, not this year. I'm talking 2021, all in. The in same the year you got your license, you know, that, yeah. that September after you were making six figures. Absolutely. Incredible. Um, I know from speaking with you and knowing you personally that, you know, even though you make good money, you put in work. What is a day in the life for somebody like you who makes money? Like people have to understand, yes, this is a business and an industry and a job and an opportunity and a profession that could change your life, but it's not a walk in the park. Like what is your day in the life for you look like? It looks, you know, a lot of things, you know, a lot of, a lot of people don't understand the sacrifices that we make. Mm -hmm. I think start off from there. You're never home. You're going to miss important dates, anniversaries, birthdays, things of that nature, um, holidays. You're going to miss a lot of that. You're sacrificing. Like I tell everybody, welcome to your golden cage, because that's what it is. Mm. You do finally have time to get off the truck. You try to make the best of it. But, you know, you're, you're, you can, you know, to, to keep it very real, man, there's days where you might not shower. There's days where you got to deal with with being stuck certain places, accidents, uh, you know, the road is, you know, it's treacherous, it's treacherous. You never know what can happen. You know, when I first started, I, I had dealt with my first winter, drove in the middle of a snowstorm in Cleveland. Thank God I, nothing happened to me. I've had hit black ice. For those of you that don't know what black ice is, it's basically my truck and trailer started sliding. I had my trailer literally right here next to me, waving at me, wow. you know, there's a lot of dangers. Got you guys. So it's, you know, there's, there's money to be made, but it's definitely not a, a walk in the park. Absolutely. This is not for everybody. It's not. And you'll, and you'll know, you'll know after your, after, look, I got to tell everybody, once you work and you take your first home time, when you come back, that's when, that's when you're going to sit there with your mind. Oh my God, wait, why am I exchanging so much time? And that's when people tend to leave. This yeah. isn't for, everybody. this isn't for the weak minded. What would you say to somebody who was like watching this video? Maybe they've checked out your channel. Maybe they watched this video, went to your channel and came back like, and they're, they're set. Like they know, like, this is for me. I want to do this. What would you say to them? Guys, um, first and foremost, nothing goes always the way it's planned. The road is treacherous, but there's money to be made. You know, you're going to go through some bad companies, some good companies. I was very fortunate to find the right company in my first shot, thankfully. You're going you're gonna to find a company to work for that's going to treat you like a human being, not like a number. You're going to deal with a lot of BS. You know, you're, you're going to have to put up with certain things, but I, I feel it's going to toughen you up. You know, and, you're, and, and another thing that I always recommend, man, you know, University of YouTube, pick up a hobby, learn something. Don't waste your time in the truck sleeping, playing video games, watching Netflix, watching Breaking Bad or something like that. You know, I feel like you have tools to learn, things to do. So that way you're not just wasting that precious time that you actually have to yourself in the truck. Cool. Cool. Now I know you got some social medias and you got a YouTube channel as well. Tell everybody, because a lot of people are going to see this video, tell everybody where they can find your information, your content and how they can connect with you. Guys, all of my handles are the same name, the truth trucking. You can find me on YouTube. I do videos in English and Spanish on my TikTok, the same truth, tr the truth trucking. You can find it again, videos in English and Spanish. And on my Instagram, the truth trucking videos, pictures, everything, English and Spanish. I always answer to any DM, especially if you message me after you follow me, I will always respond to whatever questions you have, whatever information you need. If I can, if I don't already have it provided on my YouTube videos, I will definitely get you that information. But you can find almost anything you're looking for in my channel on YouTube. Things that things that the industry doesn't even want you to know, especially all the old school guys. Got you, got you. Well, there you guys have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. Be sure to check the description down below. I'm going to link all his social medias. Go over, check him out, give him a follow, let him know that I sent you over. Again, thank you, bro, for joining me on this channel. If we get some good feedback, we'll definitely do some more videos. Again, thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.